Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. Thank you so much to everyone that has been following me from the start. The newcomers are just coming in. Hopefully that you like the channel, you subscribe, you know it's free and give a thumbs up on the video. Of course, it's extremely important possible watch the small commercial that helps the channel too uh, these are part of the commercials of youtube i have no control of them okay so i would like to mention i do have a facebook private group you're more than welcome to join if you have a profile pic of course also instagram tiktok you can follow me there and a facebook page uh, for crochet obviously uh, you can follow me through there also. All these links will be listed below in the description box. I also have a two-minute video how to turn your closed caption on to zoom in uh, on the video so you can see the stitch clearly. I don't write patterns, unfortunately, as I don't read them. You can turn your closed caption on, pause the video, take notes, and take it from there. These are Portugal four ply um, threads cotton 100% uh, they're balls of 100 gram equivalent to 300 325 yards um, you can order them uh, by minimum of six in order to cover the shipping cost I make no money out of it it's just horrendous how the shipping costs are out here I'm in Europe of course uh, most of the time 2.75 hook a small one to tuck in loose ends of course and a small pair of scissors we are going to get started thank you again for all your loving support for your donations also and for helping the women in need of thread thank you god bless you let's get started everyone okay everyone so we're going to create another round centerpiece it could be for a table it could be uh, as a centerpiece it could be for one of those corner round tables those small corner round tables where you usually have either a little lamp or pictures or whatever decoration you know which ones I'm talking about so I have quite a bit of leftover threads I'm going to use leftover threads and that's what you should do not to put anything to waste and if you have colors that combine then even better right so it's going to be uh, a round one. To, um, if I might have to throw some white in there or some other color, I will, because I don't know if I'll have enough. If it's, uh, um, I mean, it's not going to be a huge one, but it'll be big enough, at least to cover the top of a small table or so. I'll be using a 2.75 hook, and these are four ply, 100% cotton thread. Uh, these are Portugal threads. Uh, my threads go by number color and not specifically a name of color okay so we're going to get started thank you so much for being here newcomers i hope you subscribe i hope you like the channel give a thumbs up on the channel thank you for your loving support and um, any suggestions feel free to to ask if i don't answer you right way uh, uh, right away in certain questions it's due to our time frame zone is different but i do respond to everyone okay uh if you can share also uh, whatever uh, doily you like or the channel into your facebook put it public uh, with your friends and family on Watts or instagram or tiktok whatever the case may be please do so sharing is caring it helps to grow the channel thank you also to all the women that come through for uh helping others in need of thread and your donations god bless you thank you so much let's get started okay everyone so Doing my magic circle, I'm going to come in, secure that with slip stitch, come back in, my single, and one, two, three, four, oops, I don't know what I was thinking, one, two, two chain. In again my magic circle double crochet again double crochet double crochet so I'm going to do a total of eight double crochets I have four five six seven 
eight double crochets. I'm going to pull in that magic circle, close my, my magic circle. Coming in that, that second double crochet, uh, second chain and closing it in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in in the same stitch and do a single and two chain. Back into the same stitch and create again another double crochet. So I'm creating two double crochets per stitch. One two, three chain into the next one, double crochet into the same one, double crochet. So one, two, three groups of two double crochet per stitch. One, two, and three. And again, we're going to do this all the way to the end. We should have eight groups of two double crochets. Okay, everyone, so did my eight groups of two double crochet, three chain between them. I'm going to come on the same stitch. This is row three, single, two chain. So I have my first double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet. I'm going to do an increase coming inside of that three chain with double crochet. In reality, there's always two increases on the same uh, chain. One for this group and one for that group. We should have four double crochet. I will complete the other one once I come back to it. One, two, three. And back into the same chain and start my increase for this group. For the second group. So, and one double crochet per stitch. And one inside. And that's how they're all going to be. Three chain. Come back in the same chain and create for the third group four double crochets. So we're going to work this <coughs> row three all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. I've done my three chain and I'm going to complete my last group, which becomes the first group I started with double crochet. So now I have my eight groups of four. We're always going to increase by two. Always one here and one here. It's going to go like this until row 18, uh, row 11. And on row 11, so I'm doing a single two chain, row 11 will have 18 double crochets. Okay, so one per stitch. And then my increase inside of this chain. Three chain. And again, one double crochet, one into the stitch. So now this row uh, four, one, two, three, four, we should have six double crochet groups. It's always an increase by two, like that. Okay, and again, chain three, and then again on the same chain, create for this corner or the second group, six double crochets. One inside of the chain one and one per stitch. And one inside of the chain again. So we're going to repeat this until row 11. There's no point of keep recording. It's just the same routine until 11th row. And you should have on your 11th row 18 double crochets. But I'll meet you at the end before uh, closing the 11th row. Okay, everyone. So I have mentioned row 11. But in reality, we're going to start row 11 together. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on the 10th row, I kept saying 11th row 18. Uh, on the 10th row, we have the 18 double crochets. So I'm just going to 
goes in my very first one. And we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Now we're going to um, decrease on the double crochets. So I'm going to come into the next one and do my single stretching my thread and one double crochet into the next one double crochet. We will not work the first double crochet nor the last. This is how we're going to decrease now in the motive by cutting it down. So we're not working this last one and we're not going to work the first one. I'm going to do one two chain. If you find that it's too tight for you, you can do a three chain. We're going to um, two chain again. First double crochet in the center. We are going to build little blocks and it's always going to increase for the next few rows until we decrease on here. We have to decrease in the first and then the last a few rows until we have six double crochets. Okay, so just continue to do your double crochets. Now we should have 16 double crochets exactly how we have here on this row. So it's always very important to, to look ahead of the video before you create anything. I usually mention this right at the beginning of the video because sometimes either mistakes are done or I didn't explain it well or uh, there's a change of plan, right? I mean, I'm far from being perfect. We all are. There's no such thing. There's only one perfect one, uh, which is God, our Savior, our Lord. And uh, so we try to do the best we can. So basically, we skip the first one, and we're not working the last one. Two chain. If it's too tight for you, do a three chain. One, two chain. Skip the first and continue on. We are on row 11 right now. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everybody, going to row 12. So coming into the next one again. And I did skip my first one, stretching my thread a bit with a single one chain. Doing my double crochet. I'm not going to work on the last one to chain. Double crochet, one, two. So we are decreasing on the double crochets and we are increasing increasing in the boxes. Okay. So um, you are to have, skip this first one into the second. You're to have, once we reach only six double crochets here, you're to have seven, if I'm not mistaken, but you could always advance the video. Seven uh, little uh, squares, little box, okay? So at this point, we are still with three. We need to have seven. Once we've completed what we needed to complete on the decrease of the double crochets, it means we're going to have six double crochets and we should have seven little square boxes of those two chain and the double crochet here. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do mine until I have only six double crochets left and then come back to you and proceed from there. I'm probably will change color after that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Now it's just a repeat, not working on the first nor the last two chain. If you need to do three, you can. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So row 16, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Going into row 17. Let me just recount because I'm terrible at this. So going to row 17, I, since I've been doing the walk one over, I kept going over the chains. So I just did slip stitch through it and I want to get to that second 
or third double crochet. So going into the third double crochet here, I'm coming back in doing a single two chain. On this row, we're only going to have two double crochets here on the motive. We're not working the first two and we're not working the last two. One, two, three, four chain this time. I'm skipping these two and this square here and I'm going to come in this one and I'm going to do seven double crochets. If you feel that your tension is too tight, you can do a five chain instead of four. So I have five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four chain. Skip this one, come into the next one. Or if it's too loose for you, you can do a, a uh, three chain instead of seven. So two, three, four, five. Let me just check if I'm okay with this. Okay. I thought I was doing something wrong. So we're going to do only two double crochet on the on this one here. Sorry people, it happens. What can I say, right? So much stitching. Four chain, skip a block, seven double crochets, four chain, skip a block, two double crochets, four chain, skip a block, seven double crochets. So Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, like I said, if if your tension is um, too loose, you can cut down a chain. If it's too tight, you can increase the chain. One, two, three, four chains. Skipping this block and these two, going into the center here on the third double crochet and creating those two double crochets. This is how we're going to repeat this row all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going to row 18. I'm changing color. I'm going with the lighter pink. So, doing my slip stitch knot. Where we have the four chain, we're going to do four double crochets. So one single two chain and three more double crochets. So I have my four double crochets. I'm going to do seven double crochets, one per stitch, as we have on here the seven double crochets. So this pattern is quite similar to the last one I just did. Of course, there's different stitching, but very similar. So I've done my seven double crochets. I'm going to do four more double crochets. Okay, so four inside of this one, seven and four. Chain two. Now if your stitch is tight, you can do a, a three chain instead of two. And we're going to repeat the four double crochets exactly how we just did. So very simple. And then seven double crochets, like we did one on top of the double crochets from the previous row. So one per stitch, and then your four double crochets again. So just repeating exactly what we just did with the other one. And four inside of this chain space. and then two chain, or three for some of you so that your tension is extremely tight. And skip those two double crochets, come in 
and do your four double crochets. So nothing to it, very simple. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm closing in with slip stitch and going to go up. Uh, this is row 19, so we're going to row 19. I'm coming back in and I'm going to do my single two chain. I'm going to do here five double crochets, three, four, and five. One, two chain, or three for some of you. I'm going to skip one, two, and three. I'm going to come on my fourth, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, three inside of the space here. Eight, nine, ten. So three inside. And I'm going to start counting again five. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15 double crochets total. That means the five here with the three inside, okay? And then there's seven here. Two, four, six, seven. So seven double crochets, three inside, and five more. You have to have a total always of uh, 15 double crochets. And then again, one, two chain, or three for some of you. One, two, three on my fourth, and I repeat the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I missed a stitch here. You can see that I've missed a stitch. And this is okay when this happens because then I get to show you. <clears throat> we were supposed to do seven. I did only six here. So I get to show you how we're going to replace the missing stitch. Correct? So I'm just going to come in right behind here inside of that space take out two and take out two i'm going to come on top of the one we just created or the next one right after and do another double crochet so i have one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the three in sight, and then five more will give you the total of the fifteen. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 
15. Okay, so 15 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Again, chain 2, skip the 3, going to the 4th. Should do the 7 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Three inside, I'll give you the total of ten of that two chain space, and then five more one, two, three, four, and five. You should land right on top, and then we're going to skip three. Okay, and that's how it will be done like that. And then chain two, skip one, two, three, come on your fourth and continue on to do your 15. Make sure that you count because you could miss something from the previous row like I just did there okay okay everyone going into row 20 so I'm going to stretch my thread a bit doing a single stretching it a bit again and one chain double crochet double crochet and again So this time where we have the 15 double crochets, we're not going to work the first nor the last. We had 15 on here. We're going to have 13. I'll complete it once I come back. Chain two or three for some of you. So I'm going to do two double crochets. Two chain. I'm going to skip the first one coming into the second and doing my 13 double crochets. I've done my 13 double crochets, skip the first and skip the last. Again, chain two, it's just a repeat. Inside of that two chain with two double crochets, exactly how we did here. Chain two, skip the first, going to the second and complete your 13 double crochets. I'll meet you at the beginning of row 21. Okay, everybody, going to row 21. Now, row 21, we're not working the first nor the last. Also, we should have 11 double crochets. So, in the same stitch I've closed, I've done my single, I stretched my thread, and one chain. So, I have my first double crochet, my second, my third, and when I come back, I'm going to skip the first one. I'm going to complete the rest, which will be a total of 11. Two chain. If you need to do three chain, go ahead. Doing my two double crochets. So basically, we are, everything else is the same. It's just a decrease on the 13 double crochets. Two chain again. Skip the first, going to the second. Doing the 11 double crochets. So I've done the 11 double crochet, skip the first and not work the last two chain and repeat again the group of two double crochet, two chain and two more double crochet, two chain, skip the first going to the second and continue to do your 11 double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone finished row 21 going to row 22 now row 22 we're going to skip 
the first three here and go on the fourth and then do one two three four five six double crochets that means we're now working on the last two now working on the first three and the last two okay so i'm going to come in to that same one i've just closed in single two chain and two more why sing on two chain just to make sure I have the right height with the other ones double crochet because we don't work the last two and then the two chain for space to create the two double crochets when I come back around I will complete my six on this side two chain or you can do three it's up to you depending upon your tension everybody's tension is different again two double crochet so this time we have three groups two chains skip one two three and come in the fourth and i'm going to do if you need to do a three chain go ahead and i'm going to complete six double crochets here so not working on the first three double crochets nor the last double crochets the last two two four six one two and doing my two uh, double crochet groups okay so that's how it's going to be and then I'll complete the six once I come around to this side I'll meet you at the end okay everybody so I'm gonna close out row 22 so I did my single and I've stretched my thread to that one chain so I'm closing it out now on this uh, row 23 we're going to continue to do the six double crochet so I'm going to come back in stretching my thread single stretching again so I have my first double crochet I'm going to do one two three chain skipping this block here I'm going to come inside of my second block with four singles two three four I'm going to do two more singles on top of the double crochet one per stitch try to get my thread here so we have six so far and I'm going to do four more singles on the next one so we should have a total of 10 singles four on here of course we're doing the double crochet here three chains skip that block and the two double crochets four singles two singles one per stitch and four more total of ten singles one two three and I'm coming directly on top of the double crochet that means I'm skipping also this block here and doing the six double crochets this is what we're going to do on this row 23 I think that's what I said yes row 23 one two three chain skip the block into the second doing the four singles and one per stitch so a total of six so far and then four again inside of the other block so total of ten singles one two three and the six double crochets okay so i'll meet you at the end okay everybody going into row 24 so we're going to continue to do that double crochet here where we've closed in so i'm stretching my thread single one chain and one two three chain again 
Where we did the 10 singles, we're going to do only eight. We're going to skip the first one and we're not going to work on the last one. So I'm skipping this first one. I'm coming into the next one, doing eight singles. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Not working the last single chain three. So I'm going to do a double crochet. There's going to be an adjustment here. Two double crochet and three double crochet. I'm going to do one, two, three chain. Coming into the next one doing double crochet, one per stitch, and again double crochet, and another double crochet. So our adjustment is here on the center with three chain. And then of course repeating the three chain and the eight singles. One, two, three. Skipping that first one, coming in to the second. So we're going to skip that first one into the second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not working on the last one. Chain three and repeating again the three double crochets. One per stitch and three chain. One, two, three chain into the next one and the last three double crochets. Like that. So basically it looks like a skull head here too. Correct? That's what it is, skull head here. So it's very similar to the one I just finished doing on this last tutorial I did. As you can see, there's a difference here, and of course, difference on stitching. Um, but we have that skull head here too. And of course, we'll have a different finish. So it's a little bit different than the one we just completed, but not by much. There's a lot of similarities. And of course, it's different here also at the beginning. I will leave the link to this one in case you guys like this one better or like both, right? So I'll leave the link to that skull head also, but this is what it is. You can see the format here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. That's all you have to do. And then I'll complete the other ones when I come around to this one here. Okay, everyone going to row 25 so we're going to continue to do these three double crochets but we're going to have some in the center there so I'm going to come back in this time I'm going to do single and two chain and one two three chain I'm going to skip that first single going into the second so this time we're going to have six singles we're now working the first and we're not working the last single. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, chain three, and repeat the three double crochets. That stays the same. So after doing the three double crochets, we're going to do one chain. We're going to come inside of that three chain space with double crochet. One chain, double crochet, one chain, double crochet, one chain, and my fourth double crochet inside of this three chain space. So four double crochets, one chain space in between them. One chain, and now continue to do the three double crochets. Like that, chain three, and repeat. Skip the first one, going to the second. 
So we're not working the first single nor the last, and we're completing six singles. Okay, chain three, and repeat again those three double crochets. Like that, one chain, and then the four double crochets inside of this three chain with one chain space between them. So I have my second, my third, and my fourth double crochet, one chain space, and create the three double crochets. I'll meet you at the beginning of the next row. Okay, everyone, going into row 26. So, row 26 is no different than row 25. Just going to change a bit here on the center. So, I've done my single, my two chain. I'm going to do three more chain, same as we've been doing here. I'm going to do this time four singles. So, we're skipping the first and we're not working on the last, okay? So we're not working on that first and we're not working on the last. A piece of glitter from nails. You know, I do nails during, during whenever I have appointments and so sometimes I get glitter all over the place. One, two, and three. Uh, doing the three double crochets. One chain. Coming in that first space of one chain, double crochet, one chain. Coming into that second with one double crochet, one chain. Double crochet, one chain, and into the same one. So my increase is in the center here after. So we do one, two. And then the increase, like the V in the center. One chain, one double crochet, one chain, and one double crochet. One chain, complete the three double crochets. As we've been doing, the three double crochets on each side. So, one chain into that first one chain space. One chain into the second one chain, the third one, we do the V with one chain, and then one chain into the fourth, one chain into the fifth. So in reality, we have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets, one chain space between them. Don't forget we have that increase here in the center. Chain three, skip that first one, going to the second with single, second single, third, and fourth. And we're going to repeat it this way all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. chain doing one double crochet per space here so there is no increase it's just one double crochet on each chain space including the one in the center one chain one double crochet one chain double crochet one chain double crochet one chain and the three double crochets so, very simple, 
do the three double crochets and then your three chain and your two singles. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 28. Whoosh. Trying to pull my thread and I'm taking everything down. Not a good thing. Just reclosing what I just undid, right? Okay, so coming back in. Now this time is going to be a little bit different. Single, two chain. My first double crochet. From those three double crochets, remember? But we're going to connect them this time. Like that. So double crochet with double crochet. And then one per stitch. So we have the three double crochets. Here will be no different. One chain and one double crochet on each space. So simple, nothing to it, just inside of each little block, one double crochet and one chain space. That's all there is to it. I'm going to change my thread on the next row. We're almost at the end. Double crochet, one chain. I'm coming in the, those three double crochets. So we're going to connect those three double crochets with the other three double crochets coming in. And again, closing it together. No chain space. So it's going to be like that. Okay, so obviously I will do it once I come around uh, to do this one. If you want to put a marker to make sure that <clears throat> you're not lost anywhere, you can put a marker there. And that's all we're going to do. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much close on that first one that we did. If you recall, I asked you to put a marker in case you would get lost. Remember, we did those three single and two chain well closing it in now i'm going to cut my thread and i'm going to come in with a lighter color because we're almost at the end okay i'm just going to tuck in loose end okay everyone going into row 29 and i'm going to start on this double crochet here with a single and one, two, three chain. Actually single and two chain, that will make the three chain already. I'm gonna come in the next double crochet and do a single. So I got a little loop. One, two, three. My second little loop of three chain. One, two, three. And my third loop of three chain. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six chain. I'm going to skip two double crochet and come into the third one. That means I have skipped three little blocks. One, two, three chain. Again, creating those three little loops. One, two, three chain. Into the next one. One, two, three chain. And into the next one. 
So I have three little loops on this side, and I have three little loops on this side. I've skipped three little blocks here. Six chain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And coming directly again on that last double crochet. This is where we connect the pattern. And again, repeat the three chain into that first double crochet. One, two, three, into that second. And one, two, three, into the third. So that means, again, we have three little loops of three chain. Six chain, one, two, three, four, five, six. Skipping three little blocks. If it's easier for you, it comes out to the same thing. Or skipping two, going into the third, if it's easier for you. And then three little um, uh, loops of three chain on this side. Okay, so it's just a repeat now. Into this one. One, two, three, into this one. So, let me just uh, recheck. One, two, and three of three chains. And then you skip one, two, going to the third. So we have six and then three. And now we're going to go into six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and into the last one. Whoops, that's not the last one, right? One, two, three, and then repeat everything again. One, two, three. One, two, three. So three loops of three. Six chain one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip two, three, come into that third double crochet because we're skipping those two. One, two, and three, and again. One, two, three, and again. And one, two, and three into the three double crochets. Chain six, and into the last double crochet here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Hey everyone, going to row 30. So I've closed in with slip stitch on my first single. I'm going to come in that first uh, three chain with single one, two, three. So we're continuing to do these uh, three chains and we'll have two on, on this row. And inside of all of these six chains, we're going to do 10 double crochets. Okay, so very simple. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, coming into that first three chain loop with single one, two, and three, and single one, two, and three, and single. And again, repeating the ten double crochets on that six chain. That's all there is to it on this row. So we'll have two loops only on each side and 10 double crochets on the center. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So just finished row 30, going to row 31. Coming inside of that first loop with single. One, two, and three into the next loop. So now we have one loop and uh, single. Coming in that first double crochet with double crochet, one chain into the second double crochet with double crochet, one chain. So we're going to do those 10 double crochets and one chain space in between them. 
Okay, so 10 double crochet, one chain space. Coming directly inside of that three chain with single. One, two, three chain coming into the next one. And repeating again, going directly into the uh, 10 double crochet with 10 double crochet, the one chain space between them. We have one more row left. And that's all there is to this row. One chain, double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I just closed in with slip stitch on that single that I started. Going into row 32, my last row, I'm going to come in on that single, the, uh, the single, the last uh, reaching loop we had there. I'm going to come in between the first and the second double crochet. Don't get confused with the three chain here. That's not a double crochet, okay? Um, I think I'm going to do, instead of that same, I think I'm going to do the walk. So I never know what I'm going to do next, right? I'm going to do the walk between the first and the second double crochet with the single and so slip stitch and then a single between both of them one two and three I'm going to do my peacock but this is only the first one I'm doing it going inside of the chain next one double crochet one two and three I'm going to come behind that single into the next one, one, two, and three, behind that single again, into the next one, one, two, and three, behind that single, into this middle one. So we have one, two, three, four, <clears throat> four, one, two, three, four, five chain, behind that single, into the next one. So we have the middle one there with five chain. One, two, three. Continue to do your four peacocks on this side. One, two, three. Into the next one. One, two, and three. Into the last one. One, two, and three. I'm going to come into that middle of that three chain loop. So we have four peacocks of three chain and one of five chain. So I came into the middle again. I'm jumping right into the first and second double crochet. Not the chain there. One, two, and three and continue to do those four peacocks on the right side and then middle one which is with five chain one two and three chain single closing that in with single so right behind that single and then so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four on your fifth space. That's where we do the five chain, closing it in with single. I'm almost knocking everything down over here. One, two, and three. Hopefully I have enough of this pink to do it all the way around. If not, then I'm going to have to take it down and use 
probably white or something just to be probably with a lighter shade going down into the pattern one two three my last pre-cut and coming in with a single into that last loop and then straight again into between the first and the second double crochet so my dear friends this is pretty much what it looks like I think it looks pretty good I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, very similar similar to the other pattern the one I just did before this one which ha has the skull heads also a little bit different uh, different stitch it's same design um, I will see you in the next tutorial God bless you thank you so much for supporting the channel and for your lovely comments um, I can't stress enough how grateful i am to all of you thank you so much and until next time please give a thumbs up on the video and if you have not subscribed yet please do so it helps the channel to grow and it keeps us going creating these beautiful patterns for you guys i send you much love much peace much blessings take care of yourselves and each other and until next time everyone bye bye <laughs>